Daniel here from Chicken Caravan and welcome back to Project Surplus where I'm showing you how I create a cost neutral self-sufficient farm and what I'm going to be showing you today is I'm going to be talking about this thing called Syntropics I'm not a Syntropics expert but the, my way to explain it it's a food forest mixed with agri-forest so basically some people have a food forest and it's a bit of a jungle to get through it's having a food forest in a row so that's what we're putting in here but when I say it's a food forest it's not just uh, mulberry trees and banana trees we'll have eucalyptus and all sorts of different species of trees to create the forest and some will grow at different stages and some will actually chop down so some will grow up and it'll shelter the one underneath and then two years later we'll drop that down and that will become biomass I hope I've done a good job of explaining. If you're a Syntropics expert, you could be like watching this go, oh my goodness, he's just butchered that job of explaining Syntropics. When I've looked into it, it just makes a lot of sense. So when you come along and harvest or you're doing pruning, you're just going up a row. Your rows are exactly north-south. So this was a row of trees I planted last year. You would have seen me plant some of these. Uh, probably the banner grass in between these trees in September. I've learnt that banner grass is not good um, in a Syntropics row, so I'll take it out. And I don't mind that. I'd rather do something, make a mistake and fix it, than sort of go, oh, I'm just going to read and research for the rest of my life. So we're going to put in some more rows. So this, this post represents one end of one row. And up the other end, the other post is behind this, behind the pigs. So, uh, if you haven't um, worked out yet, I like animals to do the work. So, because we're going to be having a few rows in here, I've, I've pulled my chickens that are in their mobile paddock. Uh, they're, they're all almost in between both of the rows, but it doesn't matter. But I just want to put as much manure and get the chickens and the pigs and everything doing the work. And then we're going to plant out these rows. Oh, let's see if I can sneak up on these little pigs sunning themselves. I'll stop talking for a bit. Look at the little piglets there in the sun. That's, that's mum behind them just sort of digging up. She's doing a good job uh, preparing us in Tropic Row. I don't want to startle them, so I'll just uh, I'll sneak up slowly as they're sunning themselves. Get in there. Oh, one of the others sort of got, got hit by the fence. Here's mama, hey. We're just coming to say hello. Hello, how are you going? She's, look at, see that? So she's using her nose, also known as a shovel, just to dig up this pasture. And um, the other post is, you can see the post just through there. That's the, the other end of the Syntropics row. So basically between that post and the one, between that post and the one behind me, which is over that side of the, it's about there, there's going to be a row of trees. So I could have got the tractor and the rotary hoe and the plough and just started like putting down black plastic and cardboard and mulch. And I'm like, let's just get some pigs in. And those pigs are just digging, digging things up. So I've, I've got the mum and the babies uh, in this side. That, that one sort of, she sl slipped through, but I thought, oh, she's not going to annoy them. So I've got the mum and babies and sort of a, an escapee. And I've got the other ones in this side. And they're chewing on the pasture, digging. And I'm about to do something that's going to make this so much faster. I'll show you what I'm going to do now. So pigs love digging, but if the ground's wet, it makes digging easier and they love it even more. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the pump on a little bit, wet the ground, and they're going to dig a little bit more in the, that Syntropics area. So I've got, some, so I've got the pump on, I've got some water running out. So I'll take this over to the pigs and let's watch them dig in some wet ground. Okay, so the pump's on and it's pumping some water here to the pigs. And look at this. At the end of the hose there, the pigs are like, oh, this is all right. 
and they're lying down and give it a few minutes they would have dug a nice hole and then they'll start digging up that pasture and that's what I want so I've wet down a couple of areas and there's some the, there's water in the grass and they're starting to um, dig a little bit up and if I came back in an hour they would have dug up more but what I'll do I'll leave them here for several days so they can dig up all this grass and do the work for me so it's been a few hours since I turned the, the water on, turned the pump on, and I thought I'd, I'd bring you back here and show you what the pigs are up to. Uh, the wind has picked up a little bit, but you can see through here, so that I've only moved them into this area today. You can see the pig is getting its whole face into the ground because it's a bit damp. And what I can do, I can turn the, the hose on each, uh, each day. It's sort of hard to see with the shadows, but all through here it's, it's wet. And they'll transform this from pasture sort of into into mud and dirt and they'll start preparing it for us to to plant stuff in i love that they get their their face right in there you're doing a good job piggies anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video here at chicken caravan we obviously make caravans for chickens this one here holds 10 chickens and this one here holds 600 chickens our vision is to see the world farming sustainably and to do that we want to continually develop sustainable farming systems that can be duplicated worldwide since we built our first chicken caravan back in 2010 our chicken caravan products have now been exported to over 20 countries around the world although chickens are our main focus we also have development projects with sheep pigs and rabbits to find out more about the chicken caravan company please go to chickencaravan.com